In case you missed it, Egypt is planning a new city that will be the country's new administrative hub and take the heat off of overcrowded Cairo. Cairo, the capital of Egypt and the largest city in the Arab world, is one of the most crowded cities on Earth, and with near constant traffic, its infrastructure shows it. Located 21 miles or 35 kilometers east of Cairo, the new smart capital will house more than 6.5 million residents. It will house the biggest airport and minaret in Egypt, the highest church steeple in Egypt, the tallest building in Africa, the biggest opera house in the Middle East, a $20 billion entertainment district, a sizable urban park, a new parliament, and the presidential palace. The new capital is expected to reach between $45 billion and $58 billion in price and span 270 square miles or 700 square kilometers. The project sounds impressive, right? Welcome back to the Apex Channel. Today we're talking about Egypt's impressive project to build a new capital city. We've tried to collect as much information as possible on this topic and we're telling you all about it now. The only things we ask is to subscribe to our channel and share the video so we might get even more subscribers. So if you're ready for this video, we can start. If you take a walk or drive across Cairo, you may be tempted to think that the Egyptian government embarked on this multi-billion dollar project to meet an urgent need. Indeed, the current capital city is hardly functioning. Ministries and embassies surrounding Cairo's central Tahrir Square are clogging the city's arteries. With many streets blocked to ensure the security of these buildings and their occupants, it is at times impossible to go from A to B in the city. Moreover, the already overcrowded capital's 22 million population is expected to double by 2050. So it's easy to believe the new administrative capital, which is expected to house embassies, government agencies, the parliament, 30 ministries, a spiraling presidential compound, and some 6.5 million people when completed is a necessity. It seems that it will not only move administrative buildings out of Cairo, but also create much needed housing. Moreover, the government committed to allocate 15 square meters of green space per inhabitant in the new development. The new capital will have a central green river, a combination of open water and planted greenery twice the size of New York's Central Park. So the project is also being sold as an effort to tackle pollution and make Egypt greener. 51% of the Administrative Capital for Urban Development, ACUD, the company which oversees the project, is owned by the Egyptian military and the remaining 49% by the Ministry of Housing. The military's enormous role in funding the project is further proof of the conflation of the civil and the military in a country ruled by a former army general, current President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi came to power on the back of a coup that removed Mohamed Morsi, Egypt's first democratically elected president. Unfortunately, it's not clear who will be able to live in the new capital once it's completed. The housing units there are being sold at very hefty prices. A two-bedroom apartment in the new capital goes for about $50,000, a huge sum that is out of the reach of many in a country where the gross domestic product per capita is about $3,000. Thus, it seems the new administrative capital is going to serve as yet another gated community for the rich and will do little to meet the housing needs of Cairo's poor and underprivileged residents. If the government does not take urgent steps to ensure the gates of this new city are also open to poorer citizens, this new project will achieve little in helping underprivileged Egyptians. This is why the new administrative capital is already being seen by many as a colossal waste of resources. Critics say the money spent on building the new capital should have instead been used to improve living conditions in the impoverished parts of what would soon be known as Old Cairo. In response to these critics, the government said the city will eventually also include social housing, but provided no details as to when these units will be built and made available to those in need. We're sure that this problem will be solved and that the new capital will welcome all its Egyptians equally. Do you like this plan to build a whole new capital city? You'll admit this is a very bold project that not every country could handle. We hope that the construction will be finished soon and that the new capital will shine in its full glory. What do you think about this? Leave comments and tell us your opinion. Also, drop us a like. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to be notified when a new video is ready for watching. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.